Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. In homage to the Breitling reference 2003 Top Time Mask of Zorro chronograph, for 2020, Breitling has launched this e-boutique and factory boutique exclusive. This, of course, is the Top Time Zorro. The timepiece, 41 millimeters in stainless steel, the 2000 piece limited edition, all of high polish, 14.4 millimeters thick, and 51.4 millimeters lug to lug with the spacing between the lugs of a classical 20 millimeters. Throwing the watch on the wrist, you can see it is a 41, but a 41 with a broad lug spacing. Those lugs have a lot of character. Uh, they are visibly related to the design legacy of the 1963 Hoyer Carrera. As you can see, they are very Carrera-esque in profile. Now, the timepiece is substantial, but not overwhelming. At 41, the case size is a nice balance for modern tastes, but again, it is broad from lug to lug. So this is a watch that I'd recommend for a wrist no smaller than 15 centimeters circumference. It can fit underneath the cuff, and the strap that's included is a lovely Nubuck-style calfskin. So by Nubuck, I mean it's velvety. And it is thick, as you can see with the sheer cut side showing the layers of leather, you're getting a lot of calf. You can also see that it's bolstered down the center to give some volume, so it's thick and substantial. It feels equal to the billing of this luxury watch. There is an aviation style contrasting white stitch, and note that it is a broad stitch. These aren't the tight stitches you sometimes see on factory straps. They are much broader. They have an arcing grace. And you will note this is a brand new Breitling factory strap, signal yellow on the bottom, or I think Cobra Yellow is the term Breitling uses, and you can see this is a brand new Breitling factory strap. Now, the buckle is simple, Breitling branded, all of high polish, and it has a nice little bevel on its side. The lugs, however, have no bevels. They are sharply broken out from the case band, and I have to say they also remind me a little bit of my own Zin EZM 1.1. But they are true to history, and the reference 2003 would have featured a similar profile. It's all of high polish. You can see that the case itself is loaded through the back, as the bezel is integral to the case band, so it's all of a piece and seamless as viewed from the front. We have vintage-inspired pump pushers and a large knurled crown. We also have a wonderful bubble-shaped sapphire, and it is a sapphire, but it's got dramatic box section camber to look like a vintage plexiglass. A few changes from the original. The original would have featured a tachymeter. This one has a decimal scale, and the original would not have featured these lovely red lacquered hands, which give the watch a lot of extra color and character. Now, of course, if you are familiar with Zorro, you are familiar with Zorro's mask, and that is, of course, the genesis of this nickname, Mask of Zorro. But there's a lot more to love here, with the applique polished indices being contemporary and modern, and a feature I particularly like is that the center of the hands for the hours and minutes are black polished. You have sunken registers with sloped flanges and then an azurage or concentric circular guilloche with individual baton blackened hands, and then small black-bounded dollops of loom outboard of the indices. I like those little black boundaries. They speak to the manufacturing precision of a modern era watch. Now, the movement, which is known as Breitling Caliber 23, does feature stop seconds, and it is essentially a Valjoux 7753, which is the balanced version of the 7750. You turn it 90 degrees. Uh, in turning it 90 degrees, you lose the quick set date, but this is a no-date watch, so you come out ahead. You get that balance balanced twin register, bilaterally symmetrical design, and no consequence. Nothing is lost in the process. The case back is remarkably bright polished. Let's you know this is one of 2000, that it's made in Switzerland, that it is a certified chronometer, and that caliber 23 beaten away at 28,800 vibrations per hour with a 48-hour power reserve. It does feature the stop seconds or hacking that I mentioned, and it features a cam-operated chronograph, and sometimes cams aren't as sharp feeling as column wheels, but darned if this one isn't aware of it. It is as sharp as any column wheel chronograph I've ever experienced. Speaking to the modern-day might of both Salida and ETA in manufacturing these 7750 style cam chronographs with the sharpness of a column wheel. It's also a lateral clutch engagement, so while there is a little bit of jump and stagger in the seconds hand when it starts, it's also a very shock tolerant design. And it is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer adjusted in five positions and certified by the COSC, which is a third party 
understanding that the watch has gone through multi-position, multi-temperature testing for two weeks, and at no 24-hour point in the test has it varied by more than six seconds gained or four seconds lost. This is the 2000-piece stainless steel 2020 Breitling Top Time Mask of Zorro Limited Edition. And we're back with the Breitling Top Time Mask of Zorro by night.